Hey there, this is Jacob from Robaflow, here today to talk about liquid neural networks in computer vision. So if you haven't heard, liquid neural networks are a new network released by MIT designed with the idea of being able to evolve over time and not just learning a fixed snapshot of mapping inputs X to input Y. So traditionally um, in computer vision and really machine learning at large, most networks that are being trained these days are um, they, they're being trained to map an input from X data to Y output by being shown a data set. And now this can be a little bit brittle in that uh, you're only learning what's in your data set. And um, if new things arise or there are new scenarios that need to be shown, then the model has to be retrained and then redeployed, which is a somewhat tedious process, um, but it's also known as active learning. And it's the way to keep a model kind of continuously learning over time but really you're kind of having to just like retrain, redeploy, retrain, redeploy, um, and, and keep going in a loop like that. So the other thing about these, these old models is um, that they are taking into, um, they're not taking into account the, the context around them. So if, for example, in, if we're looking at this biking video, um, if we look at um, the inference that the model is making on this bicyclist here, um, it's being made at each given frame. So that means that it's not looking into context of what, what's on either side of the frames, which could be very useful, um, especially in an example like biking, because you know a bicyclist is usually going to be traveling at some some trajectory. Um, so that's kind of the issues that uh, liquid neural networks are trying to to solve. So if we're going to dive in here a little bit into the way that the liquid neural network works, um, so the liquid neural network is a form of a recurrent neural network. So here we have a, a diagram of what, what that looks like. So here you can see there's a uh, sequence of uh, text data or, or a, a sequence of data coming in in, in the X axis. Usually these are uh, is text data or some sort of time series. And then those data are being passed through to um, hidden states. And the hidden states are kind of pulling them together and then making prediction. So the nice thing about these is they're able to keep track of things in a sequence. And they can also think about things in terms of like their their spatial or temporal relation to each other. Um, and uh, that's kind of a nice advantage over, over other networks. Now, the uh, liquid neural network is um, actually a different form where it's actually, um, here you can see it's, it's a recurrent neural network form, but there's actually a different step here um, in the algorithm that they display where in the function, you're not only predicting the next thing, um, but you're also predicting the next uh, hidden state. So you're actually kind of like evolving the network shape as it goes by uh, as a function of time, um, which is kind of the, the novel introduction of, of the network, um, which, is, which is really pretty exciting. So as far as um, diving into more of the details into the network, I'm gonna go ahead and link below the, the Liquid Neural Network paper um, so you can check it out for yourself and kind of draw your own conclusions on what it means and um, where, where things might, might be going. So now I wanna take the time to conjecture here about what this means for vision. Um, so of course, it would be very nice to be able to apply the liquid neural network to process video frames, but based on sort of initial pass through the research and the repository, it seems like it's going to be a pretty long time before this affects uh, current state of the art in computer vision. The reason why is the li liquid neural network has been trained to uh, process time series. And a lot of these time series, um, for example, they're predicting uh, the gestures that someone is making with their hand. Um, and these, these uh, data are in time series data that aren't um, necessarily processing frames yet. Um, and then the other thing is that um, the current state of the art with um, large uh, convolutional neural networks and even uh, transformers in vision now um, have, have kind of um, taken the stage and I, I think they will probably remain uh, the best models for a while. But this is certainly um, something very exciting to watch and to um, watch this kind of network family evolve. Um, and then, so yeah, so in conclusion, um, we've kind of passed through here and we've learned a little bit about uh, liquid neural networks and what they might mean for vision. And for kind of next steps, um, if you're interested in learning more about uh, other uh, deep learning models of computer vision, I've got a couple of recommendations. There's the OpenAI clip model, which is really exciting. And then there's also uh, the scaled DLAV4 object detection model, uh, both of which we published research content, um, uh, research review content here at Riboflow. Um, so I'll go ahead and link those below uh, for you to check out. And then also, if you want to get hands-on with starting to train state-of-the-art in computer vision right now, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and drop a link for uh, Roboflow's public model library. Um, so 
Thanks again for watching today and uh, look forward to any neat findings you have with Liquid Neural Networks or any of the other resources that we provided. And um, as always, uh, like and subscribe below if you want to see more content like this. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.